back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Trails in the Sky. Today, today is the day the championship finale is going to start. I think we've prepped enough for it and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a tough fight but with 200 CP all around, quartz practically maximized. There's only one quartz I wish I had that I still don't have but I don't think it's going to influence... Uh, the match a lot and that's the EP cut 3 that would have loved to uh, have added to my inventory but I think we're ready for this so let's talk to the guy and let's get inside welcome everyone to the grand arena please note that the tournament participants are asked to remain within the arena's walls until the end of the day's matches have you made all the necessary preparations for a day of hot 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 action Bring it on. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, your waiting room is the blue team room, just inside the hall on the right. Fight well. Okay, so so far we had every match in... Damn. <laughs> we're, we're not even allowed to uh, test out the other room. We're gonna be thrown straight in here. Yeah, I think uh, everyone is uh, pretty tense. <laughs> Looks like it's just uh, us in here. This rating room feels awfully big right now. Well, actually, it is a pretty big room. Team sport events and circuses all like uh, used to be held here. But that was back in a time when gladiators fighting monsters was a man's only source of entertainment. Interesting. I guess that would explain the size if there were circus animals in here. I must say, it certainly doesn't measure up to an imperial opera house, but hmm, even so. It is about the size of an outdoor content venue, and that is certainly acceptable. Uh, excuse us for being less gaudy than you imperialists. I think we may have gotten here a little too early though. We've still got a sizable chunk of time before the match starts. Really? Huh. Waiting around for your match to start really does uh, get kind of boring. So why don't we walk around the grounds for a little while then? Works for me. We're gonna go out for a walk, guys. Sure, just make sure you're here in time for the match. Hmm. Well, well, what new turn of event is this? I thought for sure that you'd uh, go with them. Hmm, I get the feeling that something changed between the two of them. Some type of step forward. Hello, Mr. Observant. They've definitely been feeling uh, some pressure from the matches, but today seems like uh, a lot more relaxed. Ah, <laughs> to be that young again, hey? But uh, are they ready for the feelings that will up within them? Even if they are not, the feelings are surely ready for them. <laughs> Such delightful awkwardness. I look forward to what comes of it. I really just don't get you. Hmm. Uh, something wrong? Are you feeling all right? Uh, I'm okay. I just get the chills all of a sudden. Like someone is talking about us or plotting something. I think I can guess who that is. <laughs> yes, Olivier, the matchmaker in heaven. <laughs> Reserve for guest of honor. No unauthorized personnel. I wonder if at some point we'll be able to get in there. If not in this game, maybe the next one, that we will be actual guests of honor. That would be amazing. Is something wrong, Kurt? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> it's you guys. Guess it's time for the final match. Give it all you got, okay? You bet. You don't look so good in there, uh, Kurt. You okay? You do seem pale. Nah, just a little height headed, that's all. Though it's kind of odd, I don't feel sick, so why am I light headed? I think I'm having a flashback. Flashback? From what, yesterday? Oh no 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 no, from an accident I had about three months ago. Seemed like I screwed up on the job and messed myself up pretty bad. What do you mean, seems... You don't mean amnesia, do you? I do. It's kind of embarrassing and perhaps even a bit cliched, but I actually don't remember a thing about it. Or didn't, anyway. 
I still can't even remember what job I was doing that hurt me uh, so much in the first place. The doctor said it wasn't shock or anything, but offered no other explanation as to what it could be. Hmm. Wow, what a story. But you're still okay to participate in a match, even in that condition? I told you, physically there isn't anything wrong with me. In fact, I'm feeling a lot better just talking it over with you. And in time, these flashbacks will start to take shape and I'll remember what happened, so don't worry about me, okay? Hmm, okay. I guess if you say so. You're starting to look a little better than you did a minute ago. Just be careful uh, though, okay? Thanks. You guys too. Good luck out there. Yeah. Could it be that maybe during that job, the Intelligent Division was testing out their... Well, do we know actually know if it's like a hypnosis or maybe some drug they're using? You know, to take control of people's mind like they did with Don Capua and the mayor in uh, Ruin? Maybe that was that what they were doing with Kurt, and that's why I can't remember. Because as we remember from Don Capua, he doesn't remember anything that happened when he was on the spell, so maybe. Just a link uh, I'm making in my head at the moment. Hmm, I like that uh, blonde boy on the Brazer team. He looks laid back, but he got such a quick draw. <laughs> Championships today! Woohoo! I want to see the mask guy and the big guy go at it head to head, and <laughs> that'll be something. Everyone the game super early because it's the finals. Guess uh, they figured seats would fill up fast, and they did. Ah, it's still Joshua. Professor, you came to watch us? Oh, but of course, you've always been such a big help to me. I owe you two at least that much. <laughs> Thanks, Professor. But uh, how do you scrape together the mirror for a ticket? Well, <laughs> that was a bit of a lucky break on my part, actually. The museum director had some sudden business to attend to, so he couldn't make it today. And I am here in his stead. <laughs> Should have guessed you'd never be able to get in on out of your own pocket. <laughs> Not that I wouldn't try, of course, but I'm sure I could find a way if I put my mind to it. At any rate, I'm here and here I am, and I'll be shouting your names for sure. Knock em dead, you two. Yeah, <laughs> bet we will. Thank you, Professor. Two four here teams making it to the finals, and both poised to win it all? <laughs> Which will it be? I wonder who will win. It's going to be amazing. Hey newbies, your opponents are tough, but you guys should be able to take them. No sweat. Break a leg out there. We'll be cheering for you like you wouldn't believe. Oh, hey you guys. Listen, just relax and do what you've always done. There's no pressure. We're all here to root for you today. You're representing the Brazer Guild out there, so be sure to make us proud. Well, they say no pressure, but we need to get into the castle to deliver that message. There is so much riding on it. We are not allowed to lose. I would have never predicted the matchup uh, to go in the direction they did. On with the show, yo whippersnappers. Grandpa and I love watching the tournament every year. Hmm, maybe I should have picked the lunch today. I was in line from such an ungodlessly hour. I'm already hungry again. Time to start cheering. My husband went through a lot to get us some good seats yesterday. I can't believe he went through all of that just for me. Hmm, I was gonna camp out to get some good seats, but the night patrol made me go home. So I did the only sensible thing. I snuck out of the house, hid in my bushes, and waited for the soldiers to leave, and then... BAM LINE! CITY! Aha. Yeah, the things you do for love. <laughs> There's a girl on the Brazer team, right? And good for her. If teamwork is the deciding factor, then Special Ops have the championship in the back for sure. I don't know, I don't know. Don't uh, count us out just yet. Hey, Estelle! You did it! The final fight! It's so exciting! Deep press, Dorothy. <laughs> Come on now, do it with me! 
If you don't relax and keep yourself still and focused, you won't be able to get any good shots. Oh, don't you worry about that. I take my best pictures when I'm all hyped up like this. And they're more natural, you see? Uh, I guess they would be. <laughs> Dorothy, I think you're some kind of savant or something. That I think we can agree upon, because she's very weird when she does pictures, but they always come out nice. I'll be cheering for the bracers. They're always there to help when people are in need. The martial arts competition is always so much fun. Every year I get so into it. I really think the special ops team is a shoe in this year. I mean, just the name special ops alone has such an awesome ring to it. I'm gonna shout myself hoarse. The boy in the brazen team looks about as old as my son. I think I'll cheer for them today. Who will win, do you think? I hope the match starts soon. I got up extra early today so I could rouse those two and get some good seats in the arena. I never miss a spectacle like this. I was so excited for today's event, I couldn't sleep a wink. Royal Army versus Bracer. Both of them fight to protect people as part of their jobs. Now, I guess we see who's better at it. Mm, I don't think that's relevant. Because special ops are basically um, trained to kill, while we are trained to protect. So there's a slight difference in that. Oh, Estelle, Joshua, is that you? Then you're Klaus. That's the May from Roland, isn't it? Oh, what brings you here? Oh, it's good to see you both again. Sherazard told me that you'd gone traveling all over the kingdom. You've certainly grown up nicely in the time since we uh, last met. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I can't speak for myself really, but you certainly seem as chipper as ever, Mr. Mayor. It's kind of refreshing to see. <laughs> well, I won't let your young folk beat me just yet. So, I hear you two made it all the way to the championship in the big martial arts competition. I may be a little old for such things, but I came to watch. You came all that way from Roland to that? No, no, no. Actually, I got an invitation out of the blue for a dinner party at Grenzel Castle. I only arrived in Grenzel this morning. Karen Bay way of an airliner. No way. Ah, I think I get it. The invitation came from Duke Dunan, right? Ooh, you know of it? I was originally planning to attend their birthday ceremony for this married couple, and uh, then journey here. But this lady officer approached me out of nowhere and told me that I was invited to this dinner party. Ah, uh, <laughs> one guess as to uh, who that was. Yeah, it has to be Captain Amathia. Ah, sadly, I was just not much of a traveling sort. So I didn't have much choice but to come here by myself. Oh, she's not here. Pardon me, Mayor. There is a chance that we may also be attending the dinner party. Oh? As Stan and Joshua explained that the Duke had stated that the winner of the competition would receive a formal invitation to the party. Ah, I see. Well, that explains it. It hardly seems appropriate to uh, call for a dinner party when Her Majesty has taken ill. But if you two will be there, I might not feel quite so awkward. <laughs> so that you just means that you'll have to try that much harder to win. <laughs> you bet. We'll try our best to meet uh, your expectations. Well, I am uh, going to find myself a seat then. Best of luck to the both of you. I can't believe he's going to be uh, at the dinner party too. I think uh, Mayor Mabel will be, the be there as well. Seems likely. There will be probably a lot of influential people in attendance. Hmm, ah well. We just need to focus on winning our match and then we'll see everyone there. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Speaking of which, it's almost time. Let's return to the waiting room. Okay. There's a lot of people watching you out there. No pressure. Just do what you're gonna do and do it well. And good things will come of it. The time has finally come. Break a leg, you guys. Zin's team, you're in the blue team room on the right side of the hall. We know, we know. But we are very interested in the other side as well. Isn't this the wrong room? 
I'm pretty sure that there are rooms on the right hand side. Oh yeah. I know, but I'm trying to influence the results by going in that room. It's just not allowed. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Same audience, different uh, side. There he is, the man of the hour, Colonel Richard. <laughs> oh, it looks like the Duke and the Colonel Richards are showing up there together today. Indeed. Maybe he's here to watch his subordinates compete. Oh, so that's the Royal Army's uh, darling of the public, huh? He's handsome enough and well-groomed. It looks like the capable sword. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm, he doesn't seem to bear much resemblance to when I saw him in Bose, at least in terms of character. Huh. But uh, what indeed can one do? I suppose that is worthy of being considered a rival to the great Olivier Lenheim. I doubt he's worried about that. Looks like he's starting. We must apologize to everyone for the long wait. We now open the final day of martial art competition's full contact matches. This arena has been abuzz with preparations and fighting for the better part of a week now. And it all culminates right here, right now. Which team will seize ultimate victory this day? Without further ado, I present the fight card for this, the championship match. Southside blue team from the Celtic Republic, Captain Zinn. Northside red team from the Royal Army Intelligence Division, Special Forces, Captain Second Lieutenant Lawrence. All right, we're up. Finally. Hmm. I trust everyone is ready to put everything into this. For tears or for laughter, this is it. Game faces, you guys. Yeah, I think I think we're ready. It's really nice to give us still an opportunity to adjust our settings if we want to. But I did everything I could before we got in here. Let's do this. Everyone we fought so far has been about as tough as tapioca. Then and half this team is a pair of rookies. I thought they'd be able to stand up uh, to us. <laughs> Don't be so sure. Both of them are a part of the Brazer Guild. Indeed. We've been reading up on them. Good. Now stay focused and don't underestimate them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, what are you guys grousing about over there? Just let them be, Estelle. If they conferring their faces like that, I can't imagine they have much in the way of self-confidence. Since they lack my dazzling good looks, there's probably a lot of sniping and backbiting in their ranks. What, what, what the hell is that supposed to mean? I'll have you know that I'm considered very attractive uh, to women. Hmm, second lieutenant Lawrence, right? What is it, boy? Joshua. That sword technique. No, never mind. Best of luck. <laughs> and to you. Hey, don't let their talk get you all depressed. We're about to start. We now begin the final match of the martial art competition. Both teams go to your starting places. I just be with you. Ready? Begin! Ooh, he's going straight in for the kill. Alright, the one problem we have right here now is that they're all divided over the place. And I would need them to be close and compact so that Zin's S-Craft and Olivier's can definitely hit all of them. Or else it would not be worth it. For Joshua, it really doesn't matter because he can hit everyone. So let's just... Yeah, we're going to focus on the special ops soldiers uh, first. Because I think uh, Lawrence is strong enough on his own to be of great uh, 
trouble. Okay, this should be enough, right? Yeah, this should definitely be enough. I'm gonna hit the same one, maybe? Come on, Joshua. Don't miss in a championship match. Yes, thankfully, just right. Perfect. Well, I need to be careful that I don't hit him out of the field. Like I can't risk uh, hitting that one special op soldier, so he might be the only one surviving. So let's just the normal attack on Lawrence. And howling bullets on all of them. And hopefully this will take care of uh, the three ads. And then with a little bit of luck, we can use Barrage to hit Lawrence. And he's definitely going to try and do some serious damage on a few of us. Damn, that's not a lot of damage. Okay, he's really giving his all, isn't he? Uh, let's see, dual strike. Lauren Shadow. A lot of elemental damage. Do we maybe want to use an art then? That way we can build up CP a little bit more. And with 300. It's definitely gonna do some damage. Hell yeah. Mm, what if I do an art with you? He's gonna be able to do it after. He's probably going to heal once again, isn't he? So, do we want to try and take this one out? Alright, let's uh, impede with Snipe Shot. Now, now comes a question, do we want to focus on destroying his double gangers or just on him? Oh, I want to see what this does, I haven't used that one yet. Yeah, we might need to focus all our efforts uh, on Lawrence, or else he's just gonna outheal the damage we're gonna do every round. Mm. 
Do I want to use craft? Okay, oh, 20%. I really doubt this is going to work. Evil Eye, attack delay for multiple groups. I'm going to try Cloak and Dagger Ring. Attack or craft. I, I, I really want to attack so we can get a CP to 100 and then I'll unleash an aura blast to finish it off. Yeah. Almost, almost. Yeah, I really doubt uh, our status attacks will do something against him. Uh, art. Mm. Petrified breath would be amazing if it works, but I doubt it. Now I'm just gonna attack. Is this gonna be enough? It is. <laughs> Savor the victory. We earned it. <laughs> that that's a lot of sepit, and I'll gladly take it. Okay, oh, winner is Zin's team. It, it it can be. We're the best of the best that the special lodge had to offer. How could we lose? Pah, we're beaten. Yahoo! We won. We we really won. <laughs> yeah, and I'm exhausted. I don't think Zin is happy. Does he feel like uh, Lawrence hasn't given his all? Now, the winning team will be blessed with a few words from Duke Dunan. Representing the team will be Zin Fatek. Please, come forward. Yes, sir. Wow, you look even bigger up close. Are all Easterners as huge as you are? No, I'm a little outside the ordinary. I just eat well, sleep well, and train diligently ever since I was very young. I'm the way I am because I tend to think about everything very carefully and deeply. <laughs> I see, I see. I like you, Zin. Allow me to present you with the prize of 100,000 Mira, an invitation to the dinner party. Thank you very much, sir. Nadia's shine her light and glory upon you and your friends. My beloved citizens, let's hear a big round of applause for the victors. That's a lot of mirror. <laughs> An interesting conclusion, I'd say. Hmm, Lieutenant Lawrence, you truly have no shame. His Excellency must surely be ashamed to see his men beaten by such rabble. Was all that posturing just for show? I am indeed ashamed. Ha, oh, come on now, Almathea. You didn't criticize him so. Truth be told, I myself asked Lawrence to hold back. What? It would behoove any member of the Intelligence Division not to put all of his strength on display. And in this instance, it works to our benefit that the others win the championship. Ah, I see. His grace too seems taken by uh, the Easterners. He'll serve as an ample distraction. Still, it is a pity. If Lieutenant Swart or General Morgan had participated, the show would have been far more dynamic. <laughs> Surely you jest, sir. 
if you truly wanted the tournament to be more dynamic, perhaps you should have participated yourself. The likes of Julia are no match for your strength, after all. <laughs> I don't think quite that highly of my skills with a sword. I doubt I would be able to defeat the second lieutenant here if he fought as hard as he could either. Hardly, sir. I believe you somewhat overestimate my strength. I'm not uh, but an unrefined former Jaeger in soldier's uniform. Ooh, I beg to differ. I have confidence in my ability to judge the strength of others. And about the only person I could see being able to fight you on equal terms would be him. Cassius, of course. Uh, speaking of whom, his children will shortly be entering Grunzel Castle. Shouldn't we be taking some sort of steps to deal with them? Uh, leave them be. We'll honor the arrangement with the Duke. And besides, it's far too late for the Brazer Guild to uh, cause us any real trouble. But, but sir... Lawrence, how far along would you gauge the plan's progress? Just over 90%, sir. I'm certain uh, I will be able to guide you to our destination within the next few days. Excellent. A new dawn fast approaches for this kingdom, and even I must endure the stigma of treason. I shall pave the way for the glorious morrow. Oh, I really wonder what they're up to. It really is going to be something really big, isn't it? Phew, now that was one hell of a fight. I had no clue that Lieutenant Lawrence was so freaking strong. Yeah, I think we got lucky. Even now it's hard to believe. Hmm, I don't like it. Hmm? Oh, uh, <laughs> it's nothing. More importantly, that fancy shingdick is uh, supposed to be happening tonight. From what I understand, it's going to run late into the night, so they're setting up rooms for us. Ah, how most generous of them. Robbing soldiers, uh, soldiers with all those stuff shirts is sure to shave in the worst way, in uncomfortable places. But dining? Liberal royal dining? The very prospect of such decadence. Look at me, my mouth can barely contain itself. Where's my handkerchief? Hmm, it's getting on... Ah, gross! It's good to see that you haven't lost your sense of perspective, Olivier. <laughs> Indeed. Let us be off then. Off to gorge our souls upon these seven courses of courtly affection. Oh, that's the plan, isn't it? Well, fancy meeting you there. Ah, you son of a bitch. You wander all over the place every damn day and leave me wondering what the hell you're up to. Have you gone completely mad? What posed you to participate in a martial arts competition? Oh, oh, oh come on now, my dear Mueller. There's no need to uh, crease your lovely face with such an ill-tempered expression. After all, it's not true that good fortune comes in those who favor those around him with a smile. I am smiling! Is it me, or do you recognize that uniform? Yeah, looks like Imperial military to me. Hmm, it looks like he could be a tough one to take on in a fight too. I don't believe we've met. My name is Mueller. I was just recently appointed to the resident military officer at the Arabonian Embassy. I've known this whack job for a very long time. Hmm, one might even call us schoolyard chumps. <laughs> uh, fret not over his dark demeanor. Without it, his presence wouldn't light up the room it does. Okay, you really need to shut up now. Alright. <clears throat> now, where were, I? were we? From the looks of things, this fellow has caused you some trouble. As a re representative of the Erebonian Embassy, I sincerely apologize. <laughs> oh, it's okay. He hasn't really been a bother. Actually, he was a very big help to us in the tournament. Uh, Olivier? Did you deliberately try to keep your participation in the tournament a secret from the Embassy? <laughs> oh, perish the thought. No, no, rather, I simply never told them. How is that any different from hiding it? But, okay, fine, what's done is done. Now, though, we're going back to the Embassy. Yes, you're coming with me. Hmm? Oh, please, do wait a moment. We have all been invited to a delightful, indeed, wondrous dinner party. Delightful and wondrous, huh? Sounds nice. <laughs> Too bad you won't be attending. You're going to be confined to the embassy for a little while. Are you serious? When do I ever joke? 
Oh, cruel fate. Truly, you drive a knife into my very heart. The promise of a dinner party has been all that's helped me maintain my will to live. You know, I actually kind of feel bad for him. Is it really that big of a deal if you let him go to the party? What's the reasoning uh, behind this? Oh, I knew I could count on you. Ah, but how lovely a thing is true friendship. Such warmth and affection as opposed to the cruel frigidity of my schoolyard chum. I don't think you folks really understand just how serious this is. But try to picture this. A dinner party populated by royalty and its influential guests from across the country. And also in attendance, an arrogant fool who never shuts his mouth because his foot is lodged that far into it. And if they found out that this uncouth imbecile was an Arabonian citizen? Oh, my beautiful and gracious comrades, why have you suddenly fallen so silent? I'm sorry, Olivier, but he does kind of have a point. Yeah, your unusual behavior might not be appreciated in the royal castle. Hmm, true. Who wouldn't want to start an international incident, wouldn't we? Well, you would turn on me so easily. The war only ended ten years ago. Relations between our countries can still be strained at times. You'll just have to grin and bear it, Olivier. Please, Mueller, hear me out. I'm sorry that I didn't say anything before. You know, when you... This isn't a debate. My dinner party. My royal cuisine. <laughs> Is this really okay? I can't really say I like it, but the facts are the facts. <laughs> well, there's nothing much we can do about it now. We'll just have to enjoy ourselves twice as much in order to make up for him not being able to join us. Oh well, I guess you're right. Let's uh, get our stuff together and go to Grenzel Castle then. Alright, that has been a very, very interesting championship fight. I think we did really well. We used the most of our uh, S-Crafts to very efficiently degree. And after that, we just kept on pounding on him until we defeated him. So, yes, I am extremely proud of it. So, I think we can tick that off as a success, even though <coughs> the game is saying that uh, he didn't go all out against us. We won't hand to hand it uh, against him. So, uh, there's one thing I really want to do, is I want to go buy the guild before we head over to the castle. And since we are going to the castle on the next episode, I want to do the Grand Soul branch talk now. Just to see what kind of reaction we're going to get for it. So, the braces won I here. I kind of thought the special ops team uh, would have an edge. Oh well, the braces won fair and square. No getting around that. Thank you for your very enthusiastically saying that we've won. <laughs> I'll be patrolling inside the department store later. That's my favorite beat. Do you think there are any other people around? Well, there is curfew, so I'm sure not going to be that many people on the streets. Hmm, an another uneventful day. My life sucks. Man, I'm good with just not doing anything today. <laughs> that was some match, wasn't it? Had me all a flutter. Well, time to go home and get the dinner ready. I've already heard. Congratulations on your victory. Thanks, Elnan. Kurt tells me it was quite a sight to behold. It sure was, I guess. I don't think we'd be able to take them on another fight, though. Not easily, at any rate. <laughs> some say victory is equal parts effort and luck, but it seems that the two of you have discovered some secret third influence. With each passing day, once skills are further honed, as time passes, you'll grow into that victory and realize you truly did earn it. You think so? <laughs> Yay, I really like your pep talks. Well done in the arena and good luck tonight at the victory banquet as well. Thanks, we'll need it. Okay, no new missions. Congratulations! A big match like that is going to be burned into my brain for a long time to come. I hope you can I can work alongside you guys one day. I'm pretty sure in 
the second chapter and the third, that will probably be a moment that we'll fight alongside. I really hope so. Hey, congratulations. That was an impressive match. Seeing you young princess in action is a pretty big motivator for the rest of us. I can just let myself get left behind, you know? And again, two other members of the Brazer Guild is uh, missing in action somewhere along town. All right, so that's it. We've done the matches. We've won. We got the invitation and we got a shit ton of money to spend if we wanted to in case we get another member in our party that we need to upgrade the equipment with or whatever the hell we want to do with that money. Yeah, I think Sepit is going to be a much greater importance than Mirror ever can be in a game like this. But yeah, next time we're going to go to the castle and we're going to see what we're going to do, who we're going to meet and how delightful the food will be at the dinner. That's going to be next time. Until then, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and I will definitely see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>